everyone welcome back to my channel it's your favorite confidence and wellness coach Gianni thank you guys so so much for tuning in to my subscribers you guys are awesome to my soon to be subscribers thank you guys so so much and guys don't forget to hit the like subscribe button and comment please I love interacting with you guys it's, I love you guys so so much and shout out to my sponsors for this video 18 active wear guys the link is in the description they have dope dope apparel so when I work out that's what I wear really really dope line let's go ahead check them out all right so guys listen today we're going to talk about smoothies all right we're all stuck at home we want to be healthy during this whole quarantine situation we want to make sure that we come out better than we went in so i want to share with you guys four of my favorite recipes that i have for smoothies and all the ingredients they're right here in front of me so let's get started Okay guys, a lot of the meal replacements that I had when I was losing weight, if you guys haven't seen the video how I lost 80 pounds in four months, please go ahead and check that out. Some informative tips in there, I, I'm pretty sure are gonna be helpful for some of us folks that wanna lose some weight. So I drank smoothies and they weren't my favorite thing at some point because my appetite was like raging. So I wanted, you know, something heavier, more so than not. But I found out about smoothies that I could make different kinds, you know, make them tasty. And today I'm going to share four. The one that we're going to make today is our oats and peanut butter smoothie, also known as our protein smoothie. All right. So especially if you're working out, you want to make sure that you have something in your body. All the things that you're going to need, the nutrients, the proteins, you know, a little bit of carb. It has everything that I could ever want in a smoothie. Everybody has a different preference as to what they like. So this has like peanut butter and stuff like that. I have migraines, you guys. So typically peanut butter would affect my headaches. But for some reason when I make this, it doesn't affect me at all. So I'm just gonna show you the ingredients that I use right here. All right, here also we have milk. In my household, we use organic milk. Um, I used to use almond milk, but I'm not a big fan of it. There are a lot of folks that have non-dairy households, so you just choose whatever, you know, milk you like, almond milk, goat milk, I don't know, whatever milk you like. Whatever milk you like, you choose to put in your smoothie, it's perfectly fine. I would recommend low-fat or non-fat milk, um, organic, I like that. So we have our milk, we're going to use some ice, some peanut butter, we have our oats. All right, guys, can you see? Uh, the light is like, it's really light. And some cacao powder. Ugh. You guys. All right, so let's pour in the milk. I typically do like maybe eight ounces. Ooh, the oats. Has my little things flying away, but never mind, don't. Pay, pay that no mind. All right, so I'm adding my ice. I'm gonna add my cacao powder. Typically, I add like a teaspoon of cacao powder. Um, you could gauge it, see how you like it, but it's, it could be tasty depending on, you know, what you have. And I forgot my banana. This is what's gonna make your smoothie a little bit more hearty and a little bit sweeter. Guys, I keep touching my hair. Excuse me, I gotta go wash my hands. than you know having to add like sugar and stuff like that i love honey but i'm not the biggest fan so i need my little sweetener i gotta put my peanut butter in nice and soft just like i like it guys i'm embarrassed to say this but my daughter had to basically tell me do not put the peanut butter in the refrigerator after you opened it because I always have a hard time. Am I the only one having a hard time with it? It's really, really tough after you put it in the refrigerator, which makes sense because it hardens, right? She's like, no, mom, you need to put it in the pantry. So I'm happy I listened to her because it's been working out a lot better. And it's much easier for me to make my smoothies that way. Um, if you guys don't like that, that's cool too. You know, do what makes you happy. And what else? Hold on, let me just turn this blender on. All right, you guys, please forgive my nails. You guys know we're still in quarantine. 
there's no way I'm getting to the nail lady anytime soon. All right, guys, so this is our protein shake. Let me go ahead and pour some up. Oh, looks so good. Oh, yum. Oh my God, you guys, it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. My favorite. Let's prep for our banana berry smoothie. Also has like a little tang to it, but the banana gives it a little bit of sweetness and I just love that. It's really thick because I add oats to mine. Of course, again, because when you're working out, you want to provide yourself with, you know, protein and stuff like that. I promise, I don't do that all the time. <laughs> I'm not always recording in my house. So I don't have to like, <sighs> Okay, but anyway guys, so let's let's continue. So we're gonna add some ice. I'm gonna add the banana. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It's really yummy and colorful, all the fruits. I love fruits, you guys. That was like the best part of my weight loss journey. I started discovering the fact that I actually love fruits. All right, so I'm gonna add some milk. Again, I try to add at least eight to maybe 10 ounces. That's about right. Put some berries, like a handful. And I'll add some strawberries. Like a handful of that too, you know, just to have enough of that in there. I don't get too crazy with the strawberries because it's not my favorite fruit. Then I add some oats. Where's the cover? Okay, so I definitely love to do oats in my smoothies because of course their benefits as the fiber and you know all that good stuff. I always like to clean as I prepare, so that's another thing you'll see me doing, you guys, if you see me meal prep and all that. I believe in cleaning as you cook. Alright, so Alright guys, so let me pour this up. I wish you guys could taste this. But I trust that you guys are gonna make your own smoothie. So Come back to the comments, let me know what your favorite recipes are, what you've seen today that you're familiar with or unfamiliar with, what fruits you like, what fruits you don't like, and if you have your own smoothie recipes, please feel free to share them with me, because I like to keep things a little bit simple so that it's attainable. I could go to the fruit stand or to the market and just grab, you know, things that I need versus like trying to find a side berry or something like that or a clover, you know what I mean? So, let's try this. This is really good. And if you want to add a little bit of sweetness to it, of course, you're trying to stay away from the carbs with a little bit more banana because I add one banana to this. Like I said, a handful of berries, um, blueberries and strawberries, a little bit of oats and milk and ice. But if you'd like, you could add like maybe an agave sweetener, like a tablespoon or so, just to give it a little kick, but this is the right way to go. Up next is our banana and avocado smoothie. Nice and creamy, just the way I like my smoothie. One of my favorites out of all the smoothies because avocado is one of my favorite things to eat. I have it in a lot of my salads, you guys. So a handful of spinach. Just scoop it right on out. Easy. Our berries. So we just do a few pieces of each, of course, because we don't want to you know, overwhelm our smoothie. That we don't want to do. And we're gonna put our banana in. I know it seems like we have banana in a lot of our smoothies, but think about it, you guys. If you're using it as a meal supplement, you wanna have something that's gonna give you a little bit of substance because you don't wanna be like starving all the time. So we're gonna add our milk. Again, probably like eight ounces or, you know, somewhere around there. We're gonna add our ice. Maybe two, three spoons of yogurt. And just bear in mind, guys, all the recipes that I've given to you in terms of like how much to put for each of them, is typically for like one serving or maybe one and a half servings. Bear that in mind. So let me go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's try this one. Ooh, it's so creamy. God. Oh my God, I love this. You guys, drop me a comment after you've made this one. Let me know how you feel about it because 
I know the peanut butter one is like my favorite, but this is like a really, really, really close rival. It's, it's super good, it's so good. Mm. oh my God. Mm -hmm. so Final good. juice slash smoothie of the video. And we're gonna add some water. So again, maybe like about eight ounces of water. All right, we're gonna put like, for me, because I love my ginger, it has like a lot of different health benefits, it speed up the metabolism, it does so many things. So it's like one of my favorite things to add. We're gonna add some cucumbers, you guys. So I added like maybe four slices, five, because cucumbers are so refreshing, I love them. Now we're gonna add our apples. So just a few pieces. Actually, on a good day, I'll add an entire apple. You can't go wrong, you just, you just can't go wrong. All right, some honey. Look at that. Tasty, you guys. Lastly, I'm gonna add some lemon. If you ask my friends and family, it's like I add lemon to everything, but that's okay. One of my favorite things ever. So that's it. I'm gonna cover up. I can never find a little piece. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up. All right, guys, so this one I typically strain because of the ginger. And because the ginger wasn't peeled and the better part of the ginger is in the skin, you guys, so I don't think I want to drink that. It's really not much. I really don't want to do that. Yummy. Oh my God, guys, refreshing. Refreshing. You're gonna love this one. And especially with everything going on with the virus and you need stuff to strengthen your immune system and this one drink has like a lot of those properties the honey the lemon even the uh ginger the cucumber you can't go wrong with this it tastes so good all right guys thank you so much for tuning in thanks for joining me i hope you guys enjoy the smoothies and um don't forget to hit the like subscribe button and comment please to let me know if you tried any of these recipes or if you have your own recipes that you want to share with me that would be amazing i'd be more than happy to try them guys so i'll see you in the next video stay healthy stay happy and stay pure okay guys bye